this is Ken Julian, the praise and worship leader of St. Antoninus Catholic Charismatic Community. And here we are again, it's harvest time again, it's seed time and harvest. Well, we have planted our seeds, we're waiting in God's timing, and now we're ready to harvest. And we just want to welcome you to come join us on November 14th to a special fundraising event, our annual fundraising event. Uh, that funds the church the budget for the whole year. So come and support us. Come, we celebrate the goodness of God. As you can see, the joy of the Lord is my strength. So we want to share that gift with you. So just come and join us. Holy Masters at 10 a.m. November 14th. Celebrate the goodness of God because God is good all the time. And here, when we can raise funds for the last 40 years plus, we're going to keep the light of Jesus shining in Newark, New Jersey. This is Dr. May Janapiado inviting you to the November 14 Thanksgiving Harvest at St. Anadine's Church, Newark, New Jersey. We are a charismatic Catholic community and this will be our fundraising drive, so please support us. Thank you very much. What is our Thanksgiving Harvest all about? Our Thanksgiving Harvest at St. Antoninus is an annual event, usually on one of the Sundays in November when the whole parish joyfully comes together for a Thanksgiving festival. While this is our major fundraiser for the year, it is not just about raising funds. More than anything else, this is truly a graceful time for giving thanks to Jesus, the Lord of the Harvest, for all the blessings and provisions received for the year. Borrowed from a beautiful tradition in West Africa, this Thanksgiving festival is a time when we at St. Antoninus present our first fruits to the Lord to support the Lord's mission in this church. Families take turns processing to the altar to present themselves and their gifts to the church. This is not a one-day event, but several Sundays leading up to the Grand Thanksgiving Harvest Day, which this year is on Sunday, November the 14th. On this Grand Day of the Harvest Gala, we start with the glorious Mass of Thanksgiving. A parade of nations follows with parishioners bearing flags representing their homeland and processing to the altar for a blessing. Following Holy Mass is the Harvest Festival celebration, which includes a delectable multicultural lunch, a fundraising bazaar, and lively dancing. Praise the Lord. My name is Maureen Obuehi. This year, 2021, I am the chairperson of the Harvest Committee. Um, we are trying to raise funds um, to support the infrastructure things we need to do in the church. Please, we are asking everyone, families, friends, groups, come and help so that we can raise this fund to do this. St. Antoninus Catholic Church is a spirit, Holy Spirit filled church. When you come for our service, you can never leave the same way you came. We want people to come and experience what we have. And especially because this church is a diverse community. We have people from the Filipinos, the Caribbeans, the Nigerians, Afri everybody, please come. Come so that you know what it means to serve God in the spirit. Come and help us raise the funds we need and especially to come and be a part of this community. May God bless you as you help us. Please support our Thanksgiving Harvest Appeal. This is our annual fundraiser for much needed infrastructure improvements and maintenance. With God's help and yours, we are hoping to raise $150,000. Through your prayers and financial support, you share in our mission of building a future for generations yet to come. May our good God, the Lord of the Harvest, abundantly reward your generosity and hard work in Christ Jesus our Lord. Arise, shine out, for your light has come. The glory of Jesus is rising on you. Though night still covers the earth and darkness the peoples, 
above you jesus now rises above you his glory appears arise those are the words of isaiah 60. it is the theme of our harvest this year harvest thanksgiving harvest of restoration we pick this theme because we recognize there is a lot of darkness in the world and especially that darkness has increased in so many different ways through COVID, through the consequences of sin that seems to be so prevalent in our time, all the confusions, the divisions, the fears. And God wants to come into that darkness and scatter that darkness with the light of his grace in Christ Jesus. We believe that St. Antoninus is called to be a light on the hill. That is, as we are faithful to preaching the simple message, but the profound message of Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of God the Father. That God is present in that. We ask you to support our Thanksgiving Harvest 2021. This is the primary way in which we fundraise for doing the infrastructure work that we need to do in this beautiful yet old church and so we encourage you to support this on november 14th come or come in whatever way you can in supporting this beautiful opportunity to build for future generations yet to come god bless you jesus pleaded with his disciples the harvest is great but the laborers are few pray to the lord of the harvest to send out workers in the vineyard Luke 10:2. Here at St. Antoninus Church, we want to be all about bringing in that harvest of souls. Our primary mission at St. Antoninus is evangelization. Make disciples who will make disciples. This involves various ministries and opportunities for prayer, but clearly our greatest treasure here is our Sunday 10 a.m. Mass, in which we taste the reality of the Eucharist when heaven comes to earth and time ceases. St. Antoninus Church has an amazing history. It was founded in 1875 by the Dominican friars who served here for 100 years. The parish was devastated by the racial riots of the late 1960s and left with only a handful of parishioners. Yet, in the 1970s, the parish became alive in the power of the Holy Spirit through the care of the parish priests, Father Jim Ferry, and a group of people whose common experience was a life-changing encounter with the Lord and the power of the Holy Spirit, a kind of personal pentecost. They were willing to leave the comfort of the suburbs and come to the inner city of Newark to celebrate and share this gift with others. This legacy continues to this day, and with God's help and yours, will continue through future generations. Bonjour, salutations. Depuis la Côte d'Ivoire, good morning to everybody. I'm from Ivory Coast, and I represent the French community. Saint Antoine has been a pillar for me to my faith in this country, especially through art, hardship. And when I was a little of requesting this bread, so I'm so thankful for, to God and so grateful for this church, for the pastor, and all of the Lord to come to all people. It's such a great experience, such a charismatic way of praising and giving yourself to the Lord. So I encourage all of you to give thanks fully, financially, spiritually, uh, anything you can do for the church. It's all appreciated. God is waiting for you, open heart and open hand. Thank you. Merci beaucoup. We are blessed to have many ministries and devotions here besides our Sunday Mass, daily Mass and outdoor benedictions, daily online rosary, Eucharistic adoration, all day, five days a week, two weekly prayer meetings, two weekly scripture studies, monthly healing Masses, Life in the Spirit seminars twice a year, prayer conferences twice a year, and numerous activities involving our youth, young adults, and family ministries, not to mention various outreach missions in the neighborhood and beyond.
Praise the Lord, everyone. Hallelujah. My name is Christopher Lalekon Akemuton, and by my side is my wife, Mary Akemuton. St. Antonio's Church has been a great support for my family. This church is for everyone black, white, all nations. This church has been with us through everything that we've been in our life. My, we've done marriages in this church, my family. Several of us, we, we, we got married in this church. We have like 15 baptisms. Um, we've had confirmations done. This church has just been there for us. I'm inviting everyone, please come and celebrate with us. This is a church for all. Thank you. My name is Don Carlson, and I'm a new parishioner here at St. Antoninus Church. I've been coming for about a year, and you know, wow, you can really feel the presence of the Holy Spirit here in St. Antoninus. And you know, on the Sunday Mass, the daily Mass, pretty much in anything that's going on. I'm part of the nightly rosary prayer group, and they have been a true inspiration, and it's been a blessing for me, you know. So we really need your help and support, you know, and we invite you to come out to our Thanksgiving harvest on November 14th and help us to continue the good works that are going on here at St. Antoninus Church. Take care and God bless you. I'm inviting you to our harvest Thanksgiving on November 14th. It is an opportunity for us all to give thanks to God for all the blessings he has given us. We are a mission church and we serve every community. We are a very diverse community here. We have people from the Caribbean, from the Philippines, from Africa, all nations in Africa. We are asking you your support in our fundraising effort because we need to continue to build our church, build our service to God, and to continue to evangelize and reach out to peoples all across the globe who come here and are fed. We thank you for your generosity in helping us achieve our goal, in keeping our infrastructure whole and continuing to build for God and the nation. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. When I think upon your goodness. In the spirit of gratitude for all the blessings which the Lord continues to pour out upon us and trusting that with the Lord there is always more, we believe that with God's help we will continue to expand our outreach in the coming months and years. Please support us in this mission by participating in our 2021 Thanksgiving Harvest for Divine Restoration on Sunday, November 14th.